Here's to whiskey kisses, the peachy taste of sin. Greetings, whiskey folk. It's time to launch the 2020 Strath Spirit Sale. Welcome back to Drinking Out Loud. I am your host, Adam Bradshaw, and today it is my pleasure to guide you through 12 of my top recommendations for this year's sale. Now, these are all bottles that I myself have either purchased or been given as gifts and are part of my actual collection. Why 12? Well, the simple answer is that's how many can fit in a box, so it was the easiest amount to bring from home. Also, I tried to make it 10, but I couldn't, I couldn't quite decide which two didn't deserve to be in the top 10. And honestly, I've already changed my mind several times in the, in the last day as to which ones are even in the top 12. So by no means is this an exhaustive list of all of the best in the sale. There's 200, there's over 200 different bottles in the sale this year. And so this represents just over 5% of those. Um, and we have some absolute cracking deals. So Let's get into them. I'm not going to be drinking all of these because, well, two reasons. First of all, I've got a lot of work still left to do because at the time this video is being recorded, it's actually Sunday afternoon and the sale starts at midnight tonight. Um, so by the time this video is out, the sale will have already started, but I've got some work to do between now and then, so I can't be drinking all day, but I'll probably have one. So these, these are some very special bottles for me. A lot of them are ones that I have an emotional attachment to, and a lot of them are ones that I just simply think are incredible whiskies uh, for the price especially. Uh, and the first one I'm going to uh, mention here today is in the ladder camp. This is Tamdu 10. As you can see, almost finished my bottle. I might pick another one up myself in the sale. Um, yeah, Tamdu 10. I discovered this when we did a uh, a, a Speyside, uh, was it a Speyside or a Sherry Cask Masterclass a couple of years ago, or last year maybe. Time is, time is all mixed up in my head. Um, it's been a strange year. Um, but I discovered the Tamdu 10, and ever since discovering it, I, I've been high on this stuff. This is this is my go-to recommendation now for anyone who asks me for a good value for money around $100 mark, um, highly sherried single malt. So this is what, um, what I recommend when people come into the store asking why we don't have Glendronach 12, which is a very long, annoying, boring story. Um, and the short answer is no, we don't have Glendronach 12, but we do have Tamdu 10, and to be brutally honest, I prefer it. Um, I really, really do. Um, so yeah, Sandu 10 is a Speyside whiskey, so in the uh, official 2020 Spirit Sale book, you can find it, uh, let's find it, it is on page, it's on page 5, it's even got a nice little picture here, so it's easy to spot. If you're looking at this book digitally on the PDF, you can literally just click on it and it will send you to the uh, to the link on the website. Or of course, you can just go to strathlicker.com and search for Tamdu and it should come up. And if it doesn't come up, that means it's already sold out. And uh, if that's the case, I'm very sorry. So, Tamdu 12, uh, Tamdu 12, Tamdu 10, sorry, um, is normally $106. And right now, you can get that for $25 off. That is, that is absolutely mad. And uh, that's actually slightly more than, uh, yeah, that, that's around 25%, not quite, but uh, it is $79.91, $79.91 for this fantastic sherried Speyside whiskey. Um, absolute bargain. Um, so, 11 more to go. I should mention these are in no particular order. I'm literally just grabbing one from the pile, so don't think I'm saving the best to last, uh, because I think... I would have an incredibly hard time putting these in an order. If you think these should be in an order, feel free to let me know in the comments which which would be the top three. Which which were your which of these twelve would be your top three choices? I'd love to hear that actually. Um, but Tamdu Ten is uh, the first bottle I'm gonna gonna recommend here today. My next recommendation. Ooh, let's go for something brand new. And this was not one that I bought, but rather one I got as a gift. This was a special preview bottle. Uh, as you can see, I haven't gone through too much of it yet because I wanted to make sure I had plenty left to be able to uh, share and recommend when it finally came into the store. But this is Holyrood Dry Gin. Uh, and this is a really cool bottle because Holyrood is a brand new single malt distillery that is, uh, um, that is operating now in Edinburgh, Scotland. And we happen to be quite good friends here at the Strath with two of the founders, Rob and Kelly Carpenter, who you might know as the owners and operators of the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society here in Canada. And one thing I should mention is we also have, I think, 13 SNWS bottles on this sale booklet. I'm not mentioning any of those here today because um, 
A, you have to be a member to be able to buy them, and I'll get into that a little bit later in a separate video. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to be actually doing a completely separate video about uh, some of the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society bottles that are in this sale as well. But that'll, that'll be coming up a little bit later in the week. Um, but yeah, Robin Kelly Carpenter, founders of the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society uh, um, Canadian chapter. Uh, they're involved heavily in the Holyrood Distillery, and they actually sent me a bottle of this gin as a preview, but partially to see if I wanted to bring it into the store, and absolutely I do. Um, so it says right on the front here, I am full of juniper, coriander, and citrus, which makes me taste beautifully balanced and refreshing. This is, this is a gin which is just, it's a standard dry gin. It's, it's not trying to do anything quirky. It's not trying to, you know, I, one of my other favorite gins in the in the mix today in this book is the Sacred from London. It's a, um, an Oris-based uh, gin, uh, which also has frankincense in it. This, this has none of that. It's not, it's not got frankincense in it. It's not vacuum distilled in a crazy setup in a garage somewhere in London. This is just a really well-made classic style of gin. Um, if you like standard, uh, you know, London dry gins um, that you've probably had a hundred times and you want to try something that has been made with just a little bit more care and attention and a little bit more um, crafty, then I would definitely give this one a try. It's a beautiful brand new addition to our gins here. Uh, the reason we put it in the sale book is because it's brand new and uh, we just kind of want to show off that we've got it because only two stores in the entire province do us and of course Legacy, you have a Scotch Malt Whiskey Society store. Um, you can find that on page 28 of the book. Here it is right here. Um, so this 500 ml bottle, uh, I should mention, it's not a 750, it's 500 ml, half litre bottle, um, is regularly 62.52. You can get that for 10% off right now, 56. 43 and if you're a, a gin lover and you're still holding on to the last the last bits of uh, summer and still want some more gin and tonics in your life or maybe you've got some favorite gin cocktails with a slightly more wintry twist that you want to be drinking over the next few months this is a fantastic addition to your gin collection um, all right next up what we got ah number three let's go with this guy ah now this is a cool one because i have to admit I think this at full price was a little too on the pricey side and I know exactly why it's on the pricey side and Cooper's Choice are actually, I should give them uh, a lot of credit, they're actually one of the best value for money independent bottlers that we get here in BC. The, the guys that bring them in are basically doing it for fun, they're not really trying to make much money on it, which is to our benefit. Um, but how often is it that you see a Port Charlotte independent bottling these days? It's incredibly, incredibly rare, it's like rarer than even like Laphroaig. Um, so this is a special bottle simply for the fact that you very rarely try it. And it's special to me because I tend not to like Port Charlotte's that much. And I actually really, really like this one. Uh, there's absolutely zero of that weird lactic acid funk that you often get in Brooklady's, which I find personally quite off-putting. Um, but yeah, this one, normally I would say not great value on the sale price. I would say pick it up. I mean, this is, this is one of the only chances you're going to get here in BC to get a single cask uh, Port Charlotte from Bravati. And this guy you can find on page 14 of the book, right here on the Isla page. And this is actually over $70 off. Like I said, really, really good sale on this one. Normally $278.17. Sale price right now, $208.61. So I have to admit, it's over $70 off after you've taken tax into account because apparently I can't count. It's actually, I think, $69 and, you know, a few cents. Um, but yeah, yeah my, my math was slightly off on, on, on the little circle that says $70 off there, unless you take tax into account. Um, but yeah, $278.17 normally, $208.61. So for all intents and purposes, $70 bucks off uh, before tax. Uh, that is a steal. Uh, that is a really, really good price for a single cask port Charlotte. This one's uh, from 2006 as well. One of over uh, only 345 bottles. Uh, we don't have many of these left. I should also mention that these sale prices, part of the reason that a lot of these sale prices are happening is to make room for new whiskies. So once they're gone, they're gone. We're not gonna be getting them back. And anything that we do get back, we're unfortunately not gonna be able to honor the sale price because it's probably changed in price in the warehouse since we last brought it in as well. So this is, there's no rain checks on this. This is, the sale is while stocks last. So get it while you can, um, yeah. Port Charlotte from Cooper's Choice. Beautiful, beautiful Isla whiskey. Uh, next up, we'll go uh, just down the road from Isla. Let's go to Glen Scotia Victoriana. Um, actually, 
I should mention as well, in case anyone's going at home going, Adam, Adam's got to be kidding us. He doesn't, he doesn't own all these whiskeys. Uh, I absolutely do. And one way that you can always tell on these videos if a whiskey is from my own personal collection is I always remove the, the necks, you know, the foil bits around the tops here and the lids. Uh, every single one of these is legitimately from my shelf at home. Um, and I'm actually on my second bottle now of Glen Scotia Victoriana, in case you're wondering why it's so full. Um, I've already I've already gone through one. And this is a special whiskey for me because, uh, well, you'll be able to see a lot more about it in a past video that I'll, uh, I'll put in the links to this. Um, but this is a whiskey that I negotiated a deal with the importers to be able to bring it in exclusively to the Strath in BC. Um, I, I mean, I think it works quite well. We're in Victoria. It's called Victoriana. But also... It is a beautiful cask strength edition of one of my favorite distilleries, Glen Scotia. Um, so you can only buy it at the Strath here in British Columbia, which is kind of cool. And I forgot to turn my phone on silent, so hopefully that doesn't uh, get in the way too much. I'm only, yeah, I'm about a third of the way through. If someone gives me a phone call, you just, I'll just have to pause. Um, but yeah, this is the Glen Scotia Victoriana. It is 26% off right now. Normally 141.65, you can get it for 104.26. And to be brutally honest, the only reason we're doing that, we're not trying to get rid of it. We're getting more back um, if and when we can. Um, we're basically just doing this to show off the fact that we've got this amazing whiskey and we want to showcase it to people across the province. So if you've not come across this Glen Scotia Victoriana yet, get yourself a bottle. Get yourself a couple. We've got, I think, uh, maybe 15, 16 or so left right now. Fantastic whiskey. Incredible deal. Um, yeah, funky, light smoke. Oh, rich, buttery notes. It's fantastic. All right, number five on the list today. All right, what's, aha, Glenord. Now, yes, we are officially very much in fall. I've been raking leaves up every couple of days and uh, this, 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 it's definitely fall. But if you want the taste of summer in a whiskey, this is the summeriest whiskey I've tasted this year. Uh, for me, in a sense, this is my personal successor to one of my favorite whiskeys of last year, the uh, Compass Box, The Circle, which just tasted like apricots and peaches. This is very much in that same uh, same, same realm. In fact, I'm, I'm probably going to pick up another bottle because, as you can see, I'm down to the last dregs now. Um, this is a... Uh, uh, a double cask, um, so two casks blended together, uh, Glen Ord, seven-year-old Glen Ord. And this was a special bottling from Morrison Mackay that was brought in uh, by Rare Drams and brought in as a charity bottling. For every bottle that was brought in, uh, Rare Drams actually made a charitable contribution to the food bank as well. And this was part of our big charity release where we actually at the Strath managed to raise about $2,000 for the local food bank too. Um, so yeah, if you fancy the taste of... Um, fresh peaches and cream um, and a bit of a reminder of summer whilst you're sat at home with the heater on this is yeah this is this is a beautiful beautiful whiskey let's see if i can find it in here glen ord it's in here somewhere there we go glen and ord conmore 2012 strath exclusive in bc again this is a bottle that you can only get at the strath in bc it was only available here and in alberta in canada um, this is regularly 212.96. Again, 25% off on this one. Incredible deal. 85 13. 85 bucks for a, uh, a seven year old bourbon cask Glenord. Um, Glenord, one of the Singleton trilogy uh, whiskies. You don't really see it very often here. Um, it's uh, the standard Singleton Glenord is only available, I believe, in the Asian market. And it's my favorite of the three. So it's nice to be able to get some uh, independently bottled Glenord as well. Yeah peach juice. It's great. Next up. All right. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to go for a local guy. Ancient Grains. Ah, didn't realize I've got bottle 68 or 68 here. Um, so this is an absolute classic local whiskey. Divine, um, of course, um, make fantastic whiskeys and whiskey spirits. This is a gold medal winning uh, whiskey spirit. Um, and I, I, I can't remember if it did this year or last year, but with this, we've had two editions now and they've, uh, they've both done particularly, uh, particularly uh, well. Um, but I believe it also won, uh, the regular edition also won the best um, whiskey spirit in Canada as well. So that's a whiskey that's not technically a whiskey yet because it's under three years old. Um, this is a brand new style of spirit. It's very much whiskey in profile and flavor and technique, apart from the only thing that's different is age. And the big thing that makes this different is, as well as uh, a large amount of malted barley, they also use uh, spelt, emma, corisan, and einkorn, so ancient grains, ancestors to wheat, I believe. Um, 
all of which are BC sourced grains, and this is made just down the road in Sarnich. Uh, fantastic whiskey. For those of you who are fans of the Glen Sarnich, and that has already sold out, um, their, their first major batch of Glen Sarnich was a huge, huge success. We sold out uh, really, really quickly. We actually sold out of our pre-sales uh, before they hit the shelf and then managed to get one more case. And before I could even put them online, we sold out in person in the store. So the Glen Sarnich has been doing incredibly well. For those of you who are fans of the Glen Sarnich and want to try something else, pick up their Ancient Grains and pick up this special Strath limited edition cask strength ancient grains. Only 68 of these were made on this batch. Um, yeah, pick it up. It is available right now. I find the Canada page in here. Yeah, here we go. Again, only at the Strath. It was bottled specifically for us. You can't get this anywhere else in the world. You can't even get this at Divine. Um, uh, this is normally 104.26. Again, 25% off on this guy. We're giving this to you for 78.17 during this sale. So if you feel like uh, supporting local and going for something really unique and interesting, yeah, the Strath Single Cask Ancient Grains is the one to go for. All right, Whew. we're halfway through. We've got six more to go. So number seven on the table, let's go for Shetland Real. This is a beautiful whiskey, which I, I mean, the story about it is cool, but the thing I love about this whiskey is the flavor profile and the value for money on it. Um, I've talked about this whiskey before in other videos. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. And to the best of my knowledge, this is a blend um, of uh, Kalila and I think, I think it was Glen Hallecky maybe? Um, it, any, either way, it was a sherry, uh, sort of space ID kind of whiskey, and I believe Kalila, that they then uh, blended together and matured up on the island of Unst in the Shetlands, and it, which is incredibly far north. It's like almost like before, before this distillery, um, before this distillery started, uh, which is called Saxa Ford Distillery on the Isle of Unst. Um, Highland Park was the furthest north distillery in Scotland. And I think the distance between Highland Park and this distillery is almost the same as the distance between Highland Park and Edinburgh. It's like that much further north again. It's nuts. Um, but yeah, this is some of their practice malt, if you want. Um, this is some whiskey that they've purchased from other distilleries uh, so that they can practice blending and practice maturation and see what um, the, the weather and the climate of Unst is going to do to their whiskey. And I, spoiler alert, it does amazing things. This is an incredible, incredible blended malt. And I had to fight to get this one on our shelves because the company that brought it in, um, that apparently they got a lot of interest from the uh, from the liquor board, from the, the government stores wanting to buy all of it. And they said, I could only get it if I could organize every, uh, enough stores to bring it in so that they just sell it all without even offering it to the government stores. So I managed to do that. We brought in, I think, 36 of them or something and I managed to organize uh, other stores across the mainland and a couple on the island to uh, to all go in on this to make sure that uh, we kept it in independent store hands which was a, a victory for the little guy this is like I said incredible value um, let's see Shetland Reel blended malt batch 3 it's on page 21 of the book um, it's regularly 97.30 which is already a great deal we're giving you 15% off on that 82.52 82 bucks for this PD Sherry uh, just really, really good blended malt. 47% ABV as well. It's just stupid good value. All right. I should have thought ahead about a place to put these bottles because I'm running out of room down here. Uh, okay, what else we got? So, next up, time for... Uh, yeah. Glenburn. Now, this is a bit of a sleeper whiskey. Uh, not many people tried this one because uh, it was on a tasting that we had with a special guest, Tommy Boyd. Um, and it was a, a tasting set up by the, the late, great Jay Wheelock before he passed in the spring. Um, and it was actually on the Sunday. It was either the Sunday or the Monday directly after the... Um, directly after the whiskey festival. So, you know, a lot of people were a little whiskeyed out by then, which is fair, I guess. Um... So not many people managed to try this one, and it actually hadn't arrived at the take by the time the tasting happened. So by the time this arrived, a lot of people had kind of forgotten about it. I hadn't. I absolutely love, adore this whiskey. Um, I didn't buy a bottle because, uh, well, honestly, at the time, I couldn't really afford it. Um, probably, you know, I, um, I might pick up a second one now. I've been saving up for whiskeys a little bit over the summer. Um, but I was gifted the rest of the bottle from uh, Tommy and Jay after the tasting, so... Uh, I, I have been enjoying this one an awful lot. 
Uh, but yeah, an absolute stunning, uh, again, Highland blended malt. So this is again, 100% malt. There's no grain in this whatsoever. Um, entirely whiskies from the Highland. It was, uh, it, and it's a single cask blended malt, which means I'm assuming uh, it was uh, blended at birth. Like it was blended as new make spirit, as a lot of times uh, companies will do for tax and import purposes, because there's different casks on single malts and blends. Um, yeah, 25 years old. It was distilled in 1994. Um, just a just a beautiful, beautiful cask strength limited edition whiskey. And I couldn't squeeze any information about what whiskey is in here. Um, but I have done some sleuthing because I, ha I had a theory and I wanted to see if anyone else had that theory. This is just rumor and hearsay, but the rumor is that this liquid, which is 100% Highland malt, is actually a teaspooned, um, it's actually a teaspooned uh, uh, Glengarry, uh, Glen let me get it right, Glen Glassoch, um, one of my favorite distilleries, a teaspoon Glen Glassoch. So this is almost 100% Glen Glassoch with just a little bit of another distillery, which is probably going to be uh, Glendronach. Uh, I've also heard some people suggest that it could be the way around, and it's actually a 25-year-old Glendronach with a little bit of Glen uh, Glassock in there. Um, either, either Both of those make sense because they're owned by the same company and have been for quite a while. So, um, yeah, I mean, it very much could be um, very much could be one of those, but who knows. Incredible whiskey nonetheless. All right, all right. So, four left. Of course. Oh, I didn't talk about the price of the Glenburn. <laughs> Got too carried away. Um, Glenburn, normally three hundred nine forty eight. You can get fifty bucks off. It is two fifty nine oh four for the twenty five year old sherry cask Glenburn. All Perth. So this was an interesting whiskey that we actually commissioned for this year's whiskey festival, the 2020 edition of the Victoria Whiskey Festival, which of course did go ahead. It was before all of the lockdowns and everything. Um, however, part of our uh, part of our plans for this whiskey was that we would we were hoping to sell about a third of the allotment um, in pre-sales, about a third at the festival, and then the last third we would sell to tourists. All was going great until all of a sudden there were no tourists. So we actually have quite a lot of this left, which we were not expecting. Uh, we were very much expecting to be completely sold out by now, um, probably quite a while ago, to be brutally honest. Um, but yeah, this is a fantastic one-of-a-kind whiskey, only available at the Strath, uh, bottled specifically for the Victoria Whiskey Festival. Uh, it was bottled at 50%. It is a blend of four special single malts. You can read all about it on the website. Um, yeah, and this guy is 30% off right now. Uh, so it's sherried, it's a little bit of smoke, and interestingly, it came out... Uh, so what I requested was I wanted something that was lightly peated, uh, lightly sherried, just a really good all-rounder that it's almost impossible to dislike, basically. Uh, I wanted people who... Um, people who liked whiskey to like this whiskey. Uh, what we ended up with was a really interesting flavor note, and it tastes ever so slightly ginny when it first opens. But once you've leave, left it open and given it some good headroom for a while, that does dissipate quite substantially, and you're left with, again, a light smoke sherry cask whiskey. Um, but yeah, really herbal, especially uh, before it oxidates. Um, regular price, $130.35. We are practically giving this away right now for $89.48. So less than 90 bucks for this limited edition Old Perth blended malt. Uh, incredible value, good 50% whiskey. Um, yeah, highly recommend it. Unless you really, 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 really don't like gin, in that case, probably not for you. Uh, if you if you like gin or you don't mind gin um, and you really like the idea of, of a, a herbal noted sherry cask peated whiskey, then go for it. This is incredible value for, whis value for money whiskey. Um, yeah, highly recommend it. What else do we have? We have, let's go local again. Shelter Point. Now we've actually got two Shelter Point single casks uh, in this book, uh, both last year's releases that we still have a little bit left of, because again, no tourists. Um, but for those of you who might have picked it up the first time and finished off your bottle by now, as you can see, I almost have. Um, this is, yeah, this is a really cool whiskey. Still to date, this is the oldest Shelter Point available on store shelves. 
this is an eight year old single cask, single malt whiskey uh, from Shelter Point, who are of course uh, up in Cavill River uh, or Oyster River, I think is technically. I don't know. They, they say both. I'm never quite sure which one it is. Um, anyway, it's about three and a half hours north. It's a lovely place. You should definitely visit if you've not been. Uh, but yeah, our friends up at Shelter Point uh, bottled two single casks for us. This one is an eight-year-old and uh, matured entirely in um, Jack Daniels casks. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but screw it. I just did. Jack Daniels casks, I think I'm technically supposed to say uh, Tennessee whiskey. Yeah, next Tennessee whiskey barrel 95 with JD. Um, Fantastic. There's also, for exactly the same price, we have our other cask, which I don't have with me right now. Uh, it was a bit of a toss-up as to which ones we include. Uh, but the other one as well is the Echoes of the Hebrides, which is our uh, Laphroaig finished um, single malt as well. So it's like a single malt, single cask version of the Smoke Point, which I should mention is also in the book. So if you didn't manage to get Smoke Point, we have some and it's discounted. So yeah, local whiskey fans, Shelter Point is well represented in this year's sale. In fact, our two single casks, both this one and the Smoke Point, you can get uh, the normal price is 104.26. You can get it for 28% off at 74.70. So 75 bucks for a single cask, cask strength shelter point. Yep. And the reason we're doing that is, frankly, we want to blow it out so we can get a new cask. We want to support our local uh, our local distilleries and um, get a, a new addition from them. Um, so yeah, please help us clear out the last few bottles. Of, uh, of the current one so that we can bring you something new and exciting, um, hopefully um, early next year. Beautiful. Okay, two bottles left on the table. All right, next up we have the only Irish one in, uh, in, in my list here. And there's not many Irish whiskies in the book this year, actually. Um, but this one deserves a special mention, Blackadder, Drop of the Irish. Um, so it doesn't say anywhere on the bottle, but I have it on good authority that this is actually a single cask Cooley whiskey. It's one of 269 bottles. The only th bad thing I could say about this whiskey is it's only 46%, but honestly, for the style of whiskey that it is, that doesn't really phase me that much. I think 46 is fine. It is a apple and pear bomb. It, this just tastes like candy apples and pears covered in caramel. It is absolutely delicious. It's one of those whiskies where you don't think much of it because it's relatively simple in its flavor profile. And then you look down and you've already drunk half a bottle and you're like, oh, well, I guess I like it. Uh, this one was a bit of a sleeper in my collection uh, for the longest time. It was sat there, um, not really doing much. And then I think one evening I was playing a board game with some friends and I just put the bottle out on the table and looked down and now there's only this much left. So yeah, this is actually a, a stunning Irish whiskey. Um, uh, let's find Ireland in the, our book. Ireland is here somewhere. Ooh, after Canada, Ireland is on page 24 of our book this year. And yeah, this guy is regularly 139.04, which I have to admit, kind of pricey, but you can, I understand it. I mean, Blackadder is generally incredibly good value. Um, and again, we are one of only uh, two places you can get Blackadder whiskeys in BC. So again, really, really special to us. Um, but yeah, Cooley is also quite expensive to buy from. Um, but you can get this for 113.83, which I think is a fantastic deal. Uh, we've only got a couple of bottles left and they're all individually numbered as well. This is apparently 113 of 269. So yeah, um, for those of you wondering about the exact edition, because there are lots of different versions of Drop of the Irish being a single cask, this is the cask with the reference number 2018-2. So this is the second edition that they bottled in 2018. Beautiful. Now I've got one more left on the table, and actually this one is not a whiskey again. This is another spirit, and this is a spirit which I have absolutely loved this year, ever since it was uh, a part of our Malternatives video, which was a big uh, a big video release we did earlier this uh, year, back in the summer. Uh, a lot of people uh, joined in the conversation on that one. This is Bamboo XO. Love this rum. And I'm not usually a rum fan, but this is the rum for whiskey lovers. Um, just, just lovely. It's 18 years old, it's Panamanian, and it was finished in a sherry cask. So this is just, it's rum for whiskey lovers. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. It's beautiful. It's also just stunningly inexpensive. It's such a good rum. And it's normally 67 bucks, 67.74. We're giving you 10% off that right now. It's $60.78 for an 18 year old sherry cask rum. My, yeah, like just 
some of the best value spirit in the store. Absolutely love this. Pick yourself up a bottle if you're looking for a new rum for your collection. So that is the top 12 bottles I had at home, but the video is not ending there. As I said, I'm gonna have a, a quick drink because it's not an episode of drinking out loud if I don't drink for a start. I'm gonna finish off with one bottle that I didn't have at home because I actually have been using it as a prop all year in the studio here. And I keep, at, late at night, after a few whiskeys and I'm hankering for this whiskey, I keep reaching behind me to the to my bookshelf full of whiskeys and looking for it and then remembering, oh, right, yeah, it's a, it's a prop in the studio and I can't. So I'm gonna turn around and grab Blackadder Lechaig. Now this, which is a raw cask, I'll, uh, I'll let it do its thing. As you might be able to see there, there's floaties in the bottle. That is chunks of cask. And this is an absolutely incredible whiskey. And that's not just me saying that, that is the members of the Dram Association, the members of our club, which when we released this at the first Blackadder Snake Pit tasting last year, our members scored this the highest rating of any whiskey ever in our club, which is I think about 250 to 300 whiskeys being rated now by our members. And that is um, a group average as well. So there are some people that rated this even higher um, than this uh, group average rating. And it's just a stunning, stunning whiskey. And we only have a few bottles left, so we figured we may as well give uh, some of you a chance who haven't tried it before to pick it up at a good price again. I'm gonna have a dram right now. This is a score of 96.11 in the Dram Association. Yeah, screw it. Uh, this is from the 17th of October 2001, a 17-year-old single cask Lechaig from the Tobermory Distillery on the Isle of Mull. Just, just stunning. Oh, it smells like candy and bacon and uh, creosote. Uh, I think I might have to take this one home and not have it as a prop anymore. I have to bring something else in. But, oh man, I do love this whiskey. Normally $260.78, which I have to admit, going into the tasting before I realized how good this was, I was worried about how well it would sell because that's quite hefty for a, uh, <laughs> that's quite, quite a price for a 17 year old. But my God, people, we sold out at that tasting. We just managed to get more uh, more of this back a few weeks ago. Um, and this is the last case in the warehouse now. So once this is gone from the store, you won't see it again at the Strath, unfortunately. It's the, the curse of single cask. Um, they're all individually numbered. One of 297 bottles is one with bottle nine, apparently. Um, and yeah, you can get that for 13% off right now. 227.74, which I think is a beautiful price for a beautiful whiskey. Ah, so hopefully one of those 13 recommendations might have uh, inspired you. Mm. But if not, please go to strathlicker.com and take a look at the full book. As I mentioned, 200, over 200 bottles on sale this year, um, all between, uh, I think 10% is the lowest discount, up to 31% is the highest discount. And actually, shout out to that one. Uh, one of the bottles with the highest discount is another fantastic whiskey, um, the Old Malt Class Croc and G. Awesome, awesome whiskey at 31% off. Um, yeah, you can get that for 130 bucks right now, which is excellent value. There are some amazing deals in this book that I haven't mentioned because I don't own them, or uh, they just didn't quite make the cut. There's just oh, like 27-year-old Big Pete's, 14% off. It's just, yeah, juveniles. Um, a really cool compass box, which is designed specifically to go with cheese, 25% off, $139.91 for the juveniles from compass box. 45 bucks off, that's awesome. Um, yeah, so give it a flick through. You can find the PDF of the book at strathlicker.com um, and there's a link right at the top of the page. Please join in our big whiskey sale because honestly, I mean, it's always, it's always nice to sell a lot of whiskey because, you know, we're a whiskey store and that's what we're trying to do. But as the cur as a curator of, a, of the, with the whiskey selection here, um, I know some of the things that are coming up and I know that we need to make room on our shelves for some of the new exciting whiskeys that are coming out. So please give us a hand making some space on the shelves. That's what this sounds all about. Um, there are, yeah, like I said, 200 incredible deals, but there's one last thing as to mention as well, the very back of the book. That's right. We are reopening 
for one week only the pre-orders to our single greatest achievement um, in, in my career so far. I've managed to negotiate a deal for a cask strength exclusive 12 year old Glen Farkless. I am so proud to bring you guys this whiskey. I cannot wait for it to arrive. It should have arrived about six months ago. It's been delayed because of COVID. I have it on good authority that it is touching down very, very shortly. And we're basically now at the mercy of the, uh, the, the liquor board here in BC to get the paperwork and everything pushed through. It should appear on our shelves at the end of this month at the earliest and at the latest, um, the beginning to the middle of next month. We are reopening the pre-orders again and um, having the special price reinstated. It's normally going to be $147.74 when it lands. If you want to pre-purchase a bottle and make sure you have one in advance, it is $121.65. So what's so special about this whiskey? Well, I mean, for a start, it's got a picture of our building on it, which was uh, illustrated in the style of the traditional Glen Farkless labels by Victoria's very own Wes Dunlop, brother of Patrick Dunlop, my, uh, my colleague here at the Strath. And uh, yeah, it is uh, a full cask strength version of the traditional 12 year old Glen Farkless. It's not a different recipe, it's not a small batch. We're not worried about maybe we got some rubbish casks and they're trying to ship us off some something. Nope, this is exactly the same juice that goes into their incredible award-winning 12 year old whiskey, but just not, not watered down. This is, this is, this is full strength Glen Farkless 12 and I am so looking forward to experiencing this whiskey and I know a lot of you are as well. Um, so yeah, one last chance to reserve your bottle. Please head to strathlicker.com and uh, yeah, pick one up. And with that, I'm going to enjoy a little bit of a chag and then uh, have a nap and then start prepping the website ready for the big sale launch at midnight tonight. So uh, by the time this airs, hopefully it will have all gone off without a hitch. Catch you later. <laughs> Here's to whiskey kisses, the peachy taste of sin.